Uh, good. Let's wait in here. It's going to come in. There we go. We're in. Right. We are. Hi, Welcome uh, to this live in the group tonight. Um, uh, I've got the wonderful Jill with me from Pet Remedy. Hi, Jill. Hello. Where's your name badge? I put my own especially look. I know, in the office, sadly. Oh, Sorry. I'm, I'm official <laughs> now. There you go. Uh, well, good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so say hi, say hi in the comments uh, if you want to say hi. And I know a lot of you will be catching up on this on, on catch up, but it's, um, uh, I've been promoting in the group, Jill, about the new partnership because it's yes. really to get more professional. Yeah, fantastic. We're going to talk about that in a moment. For those of you who don't know about the product or have uh, heard of it, but um, uh, maybe not used it, uh, it's, a, it's a natural calming product um, and it's completely natural ingredients, which is what makes it very different to a lot of the other things on the on the market. There's a lot of calming products out there, of course, big range of stuff now. The vast majority are ingested and there are some challenges there with ingested calming products only because um, of the journey that those active ingredients have to take through the tummy, through the liver, crossing the blood brain barrier. Yeah. Um, what's so great about Pet Remedy is um, it, it relies upon olfaction as its main um, cause of a uh, route of um, entry. And we've had the wonderful Robert Faulkner Taylor. Many of you will know Robert in the group, Dr. Robert Faulkner Taylor, given his full title, of course, um, who's come and done some really good work with us, hasn't he, John? He's been fantastic, actually, and got very involved with um, looking at how and why Pet Remedy works so well on so many of the animals, which has been fantastic. Yeah, yeah and getting that science on board has been really helpful for us. We've got loads of studies as well. If you go to the Pet Remedy website, then it's increasingly more so. We have a lot of universities now and, and colleges actually approaching us saying we yeah. want to do studies and we welcome those studies all the time we always support them and, and they've been done on a, on, a, on a broad range of animals you know um horses pigs dogs cats yeah and we've now we've now got some underway for birds and reptiles as well so um you know those are to come which will be really interesting um looking forward to seeing the results with those and this yeah. is a big advantage with Pet Remedy, I think. It's multi-species. Uh, it's completely yeah. safe. We've even got a human version out now. I've got a couple of things here. Stress Remedy, uh, which is... The yes. Uh -huh. well. And that human version came about, Jill, which is important because we had so much feedback from people like, you know, I put a plug in because of the cat. And actually, I found that my, my uh, child was able to do their studies better or actually I felt a bit more relaxed or you know, whatever else. And we know, again, because of the studies and a lot of yes. the work Robert's done with us, looking at so many different studies, doing almost like a meta-analysis, really, of studies on the active ingredients in Pet Remedy, that it does work on all on all mammals, for sure. And now we know that it helps with birds and with reptiles as well. Yes, that's right. That's um, fascinating. Um, I mean, certainly from our perspective, we, we have a bird that we use it on that makes such a massive difference he was a little rescue um and this is what brought us onto it thinking well actually hang on a minute this is really helping him as well um we had it for the the dogs and the cats in our house um he is a bit of a feather plucker you know he was very stressed bless him um and the difference in him has been amazing um he's less aggressive he is actually not plucking so often still does it occasionally but i think it's more habit than anything else um so yes it'll be really fascinating to see you know what what the results are with that i'm excited about that yeah and i think it's good for when we're working with clients because they can they can use the product and know that it's safe for other, any other animals that might be in the house so i think that's a yes yeah thing. and it can help yeah. them you can, and um we always pitch pet remedy as being a supportive mechanism uh even pharmaceutical interventions jill um <clears throat> don't have any guarantees there, there is no there is no kind of um <clears throat> quick fix on this stuff they'll take this pill no. and these things. yeah yeah um, but for me i think working as i do with my clients and i know so many of my colleagues who love the product do the same uh, find the same it really helps to stack the cards in our favor when we're working with these wonderful animals uh and the product actually has bigger value for me a lot i think some people perceive the, the product or any common product is i give it the animal when they're stressed and yes that can help because um, pet remedy works instantly to kind of help to 
to lower some of that arousal and uh, and help a bit of a kind of a calming action with the nervous system. But actually using the product all the time is where the real power comes and getting the dog, yeah, dog specifically, but it's the same with any animal really, <clears throat> to start to make a really healthy, positive emotional association with that yeah. active it takes through the olfaction system when they're actually in a more regulated state, gives it more power actually when you really need it, when the animal needs the extra support. Yes, most definitely. Um, I mean, certainly, as I think you said at, at one stage, it's certainly from possibly just using an example of um, rescue animals, you know, when they're brought in, rescued, um, you know, we have people who are using the sprays in the vans, um, they're using it on themselves, you know, they're, they're helping these animals and they've got that, that smell on them, which of course is the instant action for them. But it's also, as you say, it becomes that safe mode. And then of course, it's fantastic if you can bridge that gap when you take them home as well. Um, so certainly we know that that has been a massive, massive help. Definitely. That's, it. That's what we call the well-being bridge. And yes it's, it's yeah. really relevant in rescue uh, for those who don't know the product is widely used in zoos um in um customs airports uh at uh, um behind the scenes at the vets um the rescues a lot of rescues and shelters use the product widely yes. and i think like you say if you're having that kind of olfactory positive associated connection through that dog's journey or that cat's journey or that rabbit's journey, yeah we've also found it's been hugely helpful the the rabbit welfare alliance um uh, we've done some work with them um and uh, how well the product really helps with things like bonding and social connections and social safety as well as the emotional safety as well yeah. Yeah, I mean, bonding is is a big thing with rabbits, as you know, you will know, and that has become, I mean, the product has become invaluable with that. Um, you know, if you are introducing a new rabbit to an existing one that you already have, it works brilliantly with that. Um, one of the uh, lovely, actually, stories that I heard when you mentioned um, zoological, you know, using it too, was that... Um, we had a long time ago, we had um, a particular zoo, but we're introducing some meerkats with an existing troop. And um, one of the things with, with introducing new meerkats is of course, they're all very suspicious of each other. And there's a lot of, there's, you know, there's a lot of sizing each other up and often a lot of fighting before they accept that, you know, those few into the troop. Well, this was a very, very much an established troop already. And, um, this particular zoo had called in their vet and said, you know, we're a bit nervous. How are we going to do this? Are we going to do it one by one, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, she said, I'll tell you what, let's try this stuff. Let's try this pet remedy spray I've got in my um, car. She said it works on rabbits. Let's see what happens. Bonding rabbits, et cetera. So what they did was they, they actually put them in the crush cage. I mean, that sounds awful. It's not actually, they're not crushing them, but they put them all together. They then used um, a cloth with pet remedy on it. They wiped it on those. They also did a sweep with the existing troop and then held their breath and let them go. And um, the report back was utterly amazing because within 40, um, what, within 24 hours, um, they said they couldn't actually tell who were the new ones and the old ones. You know, they'd all integrated pretty much within 24 hours. So I love that story because, you know, I mean, meerkats are just so funny and it's just so lovely to know that actually there was no fighting or very little fighting going on, you know, when it can last up to two weeks. So um, just a little story, sorry, <laughs> I digress. No, no, it's a great story. And this, we, we, get so many, we? we get some really wonderful stories. And um, I yeah, remember just do. going back to the zoological side of things about uh, the introduction of a couple of, was it? Yeah, we had some uh, snow leopards. Um, yeah, there were some snow leopards who the mom had had a litter of kittens. And um, 
because of the proximity of where she'd had the kittens, they they kind of cornered it off. But unfortunately, there was a lot of noise and there was still the public going in, although they weren't seeing, they weren't going anywhere near where she was. The noise was really, really upsetting her and she was getting very, very anxious. And they were concerned that she was going to, you know, possibly do some damage to them. Um, and so they managed to separate her very short for a very short period of time from them. And again, did the same thing. She, she, they wiped the pet remedy on the kittens and then put a cloth right there all over her sort of bedding, sprayed the bedding as well, and then put her back in. Um, and she settled down so quickly. They were really amazed. And these babies survived, thank goodness. Um, and they're now probably quite big snow leopards. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, I use it, um, I use it a lot with my clients for, for all sorts of, you know, all sorts yes. of things. We'll do a live at some point, <clears throat> just looking at some of the ways that we can use it in an inventive way. One, one of my favourites is um, for dogs who might struggle with guests coming as part of a guest protocol. So uh, I do a lot of work where I use free work for, with the dogs. Um, so those who know about free work um, uh, and uh, so we get the dog used to having predictable kind of rituals if you like and we start with yes. that so the dog will be put in the space where they're going to wait and then they come out and find the free work but if we spray some pet remedy around as well they're taking on the actives while they do the free work and we keep building that up yeah what well, they're having fun the guests, I mean, those are the guests that the dog already knows Yes. Um, well, sometimes people are here and then we make sure that they have a bit of sp a spray on pet remedy as well. And then we build up to guess that the dog knows a bit, but not much. And that's usually me. And yeah. we're giving the chance for that dog to improve their sensory integration as part of this process and a predictable ritual around it, which ensures yes. they don't feel under social pressure. And then you can start adding in a guess the dog doesn't know. And that's usually my husband. I take him along. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's a really cool way, but I, the, but the product helps to kind of um, almost turbo that process a little bit because the dog's also taking on this stuff. Good, so we'll look at doing a live on some of the many different ways that we can use the product. Yes. Also, the big thing for me, Jill, <clears throat> is, um, and this brings us on to our partnership, which we're gonna have a little chat about now. Uh, so um, your role is? Well, I like to say I'm the chief. Uh, yeah, I, my title is I'm the Chief Happiness Officer of Pet Remedy. Yes, <laughs> that's, that's a great I, I have to say I gave that to myself because, you know, no one else was going to give me, um, you know, that kind of title. Um, my role really is um, I, I'm kind of one of the first people you will talk to. If you're interested or you're curious about Pet Remedy, it's usually Jill you come and talk to, either through emails or, you know, hopefully through, you know, contact through the phone. Um, so I try and explain a bit about Pet Remedy. I also um, deal with customer services as well. So if anyone is concerned or they're worried about something or they're not sure, I'm the first call, port of call. Um, also alongside of that, um, I do a very big support role with the um, vets, with um, rescues, um, and to some extent with quite a lot of the retail side of it as well. So really, it's all about, you know, supporting them and trying, every, you know, trying to get everyone to be part of the Pet Remedy family, really, and understand why we're doing it. Um, you know, and, you know, ultimately, it's all about the animals, isn't it? It's all about their emotional well-being, which is what we're all trying to do and get on the same page with, really. <clears throat> and um, you're very much so you are very much the kind of, um, in many ways, the public face, really. <laughs> That's scary. You're, you're yes. the warm, cuddly side of a, of a I'm the cuddly big, one, yes. Yeah, big business, you see. We need a Jill. We love, we love Jill. And, um, and we work very closely together, of course, Jill. We've been on quite a few adventures together. Yes, we've had yes, we've had quite a lot of fun. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> things don't always go our way, do they? So we have to. No. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, we 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 become resilient over time. Uh, so the partnership is um, there's two strands to the partnership. One is us recognizing how many amazing professionals out there, multi species, you know, working with any companion animal, horses, yes. cats, rabbits, in any in lots of capacities, you know. Um, uh, whether it's training behavior, grooming, walking, um, you know, uh, breeding, whatever. 
Um, and we really wanted to make a connection to these wonderful professionals who are already believing in and valuing the product and making them feel part of what we do. That's and right. The That's part yeah. of it, which is the big bit for us, especially you and I. Yeah. Because it goes so hand in hand with the product, uh, is trying to support the general public to understand more about emotional well-being. Because I think the general public, Jill, have um have come to a better understanding although we've got a way to go i know about physical well-being but think, emotional well-being is a new thing for them yes it is it's very very new and i think you know through this partnership and getting as many of these lovely professionals on board to shout about that side of things the emotional well-being of the animal and and you know and to just get people to just stand back for a moment and think about that animal how that animal's feeling you know it's not just all about going for a walk there are many many other things that the this dog this cat this bird i mean even my parrot you know need i mean he loves a cuddle my parrot um not so much with martin but he'll have a cuddle with me <laughs> we won't go to that one <laughs> Um, but yes, you're right. And I think it's it's just helping to educate everyone that, you know, what we're trying to do, you know, it, it, it's, it, it is really looking at that, that being kinder, looking at the emotional side of that animal and not just going, no, I've had enough of you go away. You know, that dog's asking you a question, you know, answer it. You know, it's, it's, I mean, I know there's lots, lots more to it, but basically that's what we're doing. We want all these lovely partners to be advocates for, for pet remedy. And also, um, I don't know if you're going to come on to the pledge that we're asking everyone to do, but you know, it's it's getting rid of all that adverse horribleness that's gone on before and learning a new way with those animals. Um and you know as I say, that's the, and the yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that's the big thing. I think the big key is, you know, we want everyone to understand those animals as best as they can and do the best for them. Um, you know, most definitely. Um, the partnership itself, do you want me to sort of just go on a little bit about it? So it's got, I mean, you know, as you were saying, the sort of two strands. So the first thing is that, you know, we have this, the pet remedy pledge, um, which I don't know, are you going to put that up on the screen for everyone to see at some stage? Or that sounds they, technical, Jill. Oh, it sounds a bit scary. Okay. No, you talk about um, it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, I mean, you can, guys, you can see it on our, our website. I mean, I've got something here, but I don't think it's big enough it to actually it see. Um, and really all we're doing is we're asking these professionals and, and you know, to sign the pledge that they're, you know, that they're not going to use any. There we are. There we go. So it's all about, you know, using methods and tools that are that you know not using those methods and tools that, that are designed to deliberately cause any kind of pain or fear and intimidation etc um and uh, you know once they've signed that there are lots of lovely advantages once you've signed that you know you're part of the pet remedy mission to get this out there to the public um as an affiliate partner um this is for you know, as we say, for professional um, colleagues who want to become a partner, um, they're already probably using pet remedy. They don't need you don't need to stock it or anything like that. We're not asking you to buy the products or anything. But what you can do as part of that is you can have a you get 25 percent um, discount. Um, you can have your own code, which you can then give to your um, clients um so that they can buy pet remedy themselves they can buy it online they then accumulate these points every time they buy something which also gives points to you as a professional as well um and then of course all those points you you accumulate you can then get some free products which is fantastic um there are three different kind of levels of it so we do also um 
have I'm just trying to think what's the oh yeah the commercial partner that's if you want to sell the products as well so you can you know have a trade account and sell your products as well um and then of course the corporate which again is very similar but selling you know larger quantities etc um yeah. So really, in a nutshell, that's what it's all about. It's getting that, it's, it's getting a mission. It, we're on a mission, aren't we, really, for, you know, everybody to be much kinder and look after those animals in a nicer way. Well, this is the key, isn't it? Because I think um, uh, the general public, you know, they're bombarded with so much stuff. Uh, and a lot of it's not very helpful. Much of it is outdated. Um, there's a general lack of awareness. And what I love about the product is for us, and I think what we have to recognize, I say this to my colleagues, you know, we have our platforms, um, we have our followers, we do our work, we have our clients, of course, that we can influence and work with. But um, we can get stuck in our own little echo chambers and our little social media bubbles. Yes. And the beautiful thing for me is this synergy between a product that is widely available. So it's it's in all the big pet shops, you know, it's in the yeah, it's in the vets, it's all yes. this stuff. And the general public get access to it when they pick up that product, even on the packaging, it says something about emotional well-being. Yes. So we have an opportunity here to kind of really let them know about that side of things. And when they understand that more, they're going to be less likely to listen to those who are more likely to uh, push a more aversive side of things because they'll be more aware. And I think having our partners, not only can we um support them with the pro on the product side of things but also empower them and educate them to feel really um uh, kind of inspired and uh, uh what's the word i want to use um yeah kind of uh, kind of um invigorated really to con continue doing the, the great advocacy well work. sort of empowered really empowered, to, yeah, to pass that as you were saying to pass that on to more and more people and and actually what's lovely um in a small way that i've seen is with quite a lot of younger the younger generation who are now you know getting interested in dogs and having their own dog and i've even seen it in my own family how really concerned they are about everything about their lives you know and they're often coming to me and saying you know i'm using pet remedy here you know and now i've gone to see this trainer and he's saying this and they're really really thinking about it much more and i think we just need to spread that word even wider um yeah we're gonna, we're gonna have a lot of different initiatives so when you sign up as a partner then um uh you'll get a little bit from me every week. So I'll be a little bit of Andy in your inbox, as we're calling it, looking yeah. at different things. Um, we're going to be looking at all sorts of extra initiatives. There's going to be exclusive interviews and video content and things like that that we're going to do. We're going to be looking at how we um, produce really good content regarding social media graphics, posters, all this kind of yeah. thing. And we're going to very much get our partners to let us know the kind of things they, they, they would really value and that would help them especially because a lot of us, we feel a bit uncomfortable posting in our local dog groups and putting things out there. And But we yes. can create that content for you. We can create those posters. We can create that kind of graphical thing. And to really think, yeah, I'm a pet remedy partner because of that, this is what we're focusing in on. I think together we can really start to get that grassroots thing going for the general public. Yes, yeah. Also, we're going to be next week, a <clears throat> um, little bit of a little bit of an exclusive here, but we're going to be launching a new Facebook group um, called Wellbeing in Companion, Emotional Wellbeing in Companion Animals. That's so right, yeah. Partners will know the details of that first, and that's going to be a public group. And it's a bit like dog center care, really, I guess, but for all animals. Um, and we're going to really encourage our partners to be involved with that. We want to share our partners' content. We want to spotlight them. I'll be doing Facebook Lives in there, like I do in yes. dog center care, but on multiple species so we'll have horse experts cat experts rabbit experts bird experts yeah fantastic so everyone can tap into whichever ones they prefer um, yeah now hopefully the general public yeah. then will get drawn into that group because it'll be a public group and uh, get our partners to to kind of um promote that side of things as well so it is definitely a mission i think we're on a bit of a mission and the pledge you know I, i'm really proud of us as a as a company jill because yes um we've uh generally i think in the corporate world there's a reluctance to kind of get off the fence on a few things because it's more about well we don't want to get involved 
And I understand that sort of stuff, but for us, it's really integral to our product. And I think, especially with our partners, anybody can use the product, anybody can buy the product. But if we're going to partner with anybody, we want to make sure that at least we have, uh, we share similar values and, and ethical kind of um, yes. ways of working. Yeah, okay. yeah, no, I agree. I think um, it's it's been, I was going to say it's been a long time coming, really. But it's something that as a company, we've thought about on and off for a long time. But it's actually, you know, now we, we're actually throwing it out there and we're saying, right, this is what we stand for you know like it or lump it this is what we're doing and as you say it's very very much part of what our product is all about um so you know i just hope that lots and lots of people really jump on board with this because you know it's going to be it's going to be a it's going to be a bit of a long journey but it's also i think going to be a few bumps in the road but it's going to be great fun along the way and i think the more people we can get involved with it the better Definitely. Yeah, because that's the key, isn't it? I think that's the key. And um, uh, we've got so many exciting things planned for the. Yeah, we have. Uh, and getting people involved. We can't give away too much yet. <laughs> no, we're going to give away too much. But also, it's going to be very partner led as well. I think a lot of affiliate schemes, yes. I'm part of them myself, <clears throat> it kind of ends up being a bit static. And ours isn't going to be that because, because of our mission side of things, not just. The, yes. Uh, we're going to be very active. Very active. Okay, yes. exciting. Well, thank you, Jill. So you are very welcome. Can we share your email address? You can indeed. <laughs> um, so if anyone's interested, wants to um, know a little bit more about it, it is Jill. My email is Jill with a G. Um, Jill at petremedy.co.uk. Nice so that's Jill with a G. Very simple at petremedy.co.uk. And if you are not a partner and you want to be one, this is a UK-based initiative at the moment. The product is available worldwide. There's reasons we have to start off with it being UK-based, but we are looking to take it to other territories. So don't worry if you're in other places, the partnership will come to yeah. you at some point. But it is UK-based at the moment. Um, if you go to petremedy.co.uk uh, and then go to the professional uh, section, you will see a partnership there's information there and you can join online it's really simple uh but if you've got yeah. any queries you can contact jill you can also contact me i'm in, in with that hat on andrew at petremedy.co.uk nice and easy uh, uh so um uh great well it's been an amazing chat thank you thank you jill nice to see you nice to chat nice to and i look forward to lots and lots of people joining yeah and our yeah. next live <laughs> and I suppose, yes, well, I think we'll be Absolutely. jumping into the new group a lot for sure. I think that'll be happening a fair bit. Yeah, it? that'll be great. And, uh, all those people have really signed up. We've had a big intake already. It's it's actually went a bit nuts initially, which is great. There's a lot of people. Um, you should have had an email with a little message from me already. And then um, next week, <clears throat> you'll be getting your first Andy in your inbox. So look out for that because I'll be sharing mm -hmm. something. Really. Okay, well, lots of love, everybody. Thank you very much. And um, just to... Yep. Just to for the people in the group, um, the next uh, Facebook Live is tomorrow with Saujanya um, from part of the Bark season that we've got now. This is the first educational, which is really exciting. Uh, so this will be a proper presentation, everybody. So you can really do some learning from Saujanya, which is amazing. And then next week, next Thursday, we have my good friend, uh, Matt Beisner, coming in. Matt Beisner, um, many of you know Matt. He's, he's, a, he's well, very well known. He's going to come in and um see us and um uh for another facebook live next thursday at 6 30. great well good night morning. good afternoon good morning wherever you're listening and thank you for tuning in lots of love jill thank you yeah have a lovely weekend bye right if you stay there jill